place you go right now, even not to a visa office to get a visa, you need a job letter. So what you are saying here, over these 600 people here, we are now grounded. Us and our family are grounded. Tempers flared at a meeting today between contracted workers within the Ministry of Education and the Minister. Officials told the workers that tough decisions have to be made on their future employment. And as Janea Noel Ferguson tells us, they were also told their future was all dependent upon their performance. I need security. If I don't either give me security or let me go home, not a six years contract, something called security. Samantha Monroe, just one of the hundreds of contracted workers concerned about their jobs within the Ministry of Education and the fact that it could now be in limbo. The Education Minister Jeff Lloyd addressed a mass meeting with contracted workers and education officials Thursday on the status and future of their employment. While no mass firings would take place, he said the reality is that not all contracted workers would be able to remain. It is a bloated public service. If you're not going to be a team member of us, then we unfortunately are going to have to part ways. Today, we have people who have been brought in to the Ministry of Education. They have no contract or no written contract. They were not term, told the terms of their employment or their engagement. They really don't know what they're supposed to be doing, who they're supposed to be reporting to, what their rights are, what their privileges are. Deputy Permanent Secretary Sharon pratt Roll explained the criteria the government has put in place. She also told them that they are all considered general workers with a salary of 11450 annually. She said that they would not be able to receive a job letter or salary deduction. You are all on a new contract as of the 1st of July 2017. Did you hear that? Yes. Okay. When will this contract end for you? Will be based on your performance. And we have been asked to reduce our numbers. Now, after hearing the information presented, these contract workers were very distressed. One of their chief concerns was the fact that they would be unable to receive a job letter. That job letter, they said, is the only sense of security they would have. Now, all us walking out here and don't know how, what position we in. Because right now, as we speak, they saying this contract, we ain't on our own letter to prove that it's contract. And I can't come to you as an employee after six years to get a job letter. I am not in my home. I'm working now to get in my home. That dream has shut down for me because no job letter. I have a daughter at UB. UB. Every place you go right now, even down to a visa office to get a visa, you need a job letter. So what you are saying here, over these 600 people here, we are now grounded. Us and our family are grounded. You tell me I'm entitled to nothing? I can't even get a job letter. They even said that if I can go to the bank to help me with something, I can't get that. It doesn't make any sense. Now, the former administration had attempted to regularize contracted workers. However, Pratt Roll said only a certain amount were approved by the Ministry of Finance. Now, aside from their performance appraisals, the contract workers would also have to attend mandatory training. And as for their concerns about receiving job letters, officials said that matter will have to be reviewed. Janaya Noel Ferguson, ZNAS Network News.